Do you EDC a spoon? Welcome back down to the Barbarian Bar, or if this is your first time, welcome to the Barbarian Bar. We're going to talk about the five items that are going to make your EDC better, part two. In the last video, I asked you guys to comment down below, what items do you think I should carry or what items do you carry that benefits your EDC? This is not a video to tell you that you should or you have to carry these items, and I'm not gonna ever tell anybody they can't carry something. These are gonna be catered to your EDC if they benefit you, if they help you. I am glad that I could be a part of making your EDC better. Let's talk about the coffee that's in the cup here. This is EDC Coffee and Co. This is almost empty, so I'm gonna have to get some more, I think, really soon. This is the Tonto Columbia Dark. I like my coffee black. No sugar, no cream, no nothing, just straight coffee. Gets it right in the veins of starch of your day. So in the comments, I got a lot of people that said the pen, the EDC pen. Carrying a pen is definitely beneficial to my EDC. I like to cater my EDC to kind of going around to not carrying my phone every day. I don't want to have to drain my battery or, you know, I like to also disconnect from technology. I love social media and I will be first to admit I'm addicted to it. I love being on social media, I love scrolling through photos, but if I can get myself away from that, that's something that's going to help. So with that being said, to better my EDC, maybe I don't need to be on my phone and typing out things or taking notes on there. Even though the notes in the phone is a great idea to take notes, sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned pen. This is the polka pen here. This is great for in the pocket or in the pouch. You're thinking, man, that's tiny, but check this out here. How convenient is that? Great for in the pocket, great for the pouch, Maybe you want something a little more sophisticated. You want to ooh and ah the friends here. You got the EP1 Refine. Check out that bolt action. Whew, that's, that's spicy. And then you get a new one here. This is a Keras pen. This is made in the good old US of A. We got another one here. This is the Bastion. One of the loudest pens I think I own. Maybe a little tactical. You got a Civivi bolt action. On the end of that tip has got a glass breaker. How cool is that? I have been carrying the polka pen. This one's got a pocket clip, which is great. This one's going with my aesthetic here, black and gray. So one thing in my EDC here, it's getting November. It's hunting season around where I'm at. A pen is beneficial because I don't like to have my phone. I mean, usually it's cold, I got gloves on, or I just want to save that battery to my phone. Carrying a pen like this, it's orange, never going to lose it. I can take this to the duck blind with me, take this to the deer blind. Something I can take notes as far as maybe I see a deer off in the distance or I see some ducks. I want to take notes on you know, when they're coming in, where they came in, what time it was. Which brings me on to my second part. I'm making your EDC better, saving your phone is the watch. I believe in carrying an analog watch. It looks great. It definitely keeps you from using your phone all the time. I've been carrying this Seiko dive watch here. I show this a lot. It's one of my just favorite go-tos. And you know, I think the watch is definitely classy looking. It's gonna set you apart from other people. It's gonna make you look maybe sophisticated. We all know I need all the help to look more sophisticated. Let's just be honest. I can just lift my wrist and see what time it is. Jot down the notes. Bird came in from the west, XYZ, at this time. Boom. Never had to pull my phone out for that. So that's one of the benefits of using your watch and pens. And there are other watches out there here. No, I like the analog. I think it looks classy. So this is an automatic watch, so I don't have to charge it. I don't have to worry about batteries. I just have to shake the wrist, and it automatically charges. And we talk about battery. We talk about our phones. I talk about my EDC caters sometimes do saving the battery in my phone because you never know when you need that for emergencies of course is a flashlight so you got a little flashlight here you can use this to maybe save the battery on your phone you know you got a little one you can hang this on your keychain now you've got those oh, damn it. almost lost it all right as i was saying here so you got this little flashlight like this little old light you know you can maybe just put that on your little lanyard you can put it on your keychain. Something great to just definitely keep in your EDC here. And we got my old go-to, the Olight, the i3T, and my new favorite. This is the Aurora A2. I love how small it is. I love how bright it is. 
I love the magnet on the back and on the clip as well. You got a coast. I usually keep these in the truck. You never know when you need one. I haven't changed this in forever and it's still rocking and rolling. So definitely a good truck flashlight. And my newest flashlight here is the Workos. Check this thing out. It's pretty chunky compared to the rest. It's bigger. This thing is bright. I'm not gonna shine that into you guys because I don't want you to go blind. It's got the pocket clip I like. You know, it's got the double pocket clip so you can put it in your hat, pocket, in your pouch. How have you want to wear it? How have you want to wear it? However you want to wear it. This has USB-C charging and USB-C discharging. Why in the world would you want to discharge a flashlight? So check this out. In my pouch here, I've got a USB-C charger. So I can use this to charge the flashlight, the other end into my charging brick, or I can plug this into my phone. And now I am charging my phone with my flashlight. This flashlight now doubles as saving the battery in my phone for using it for light, and it also charges my phone. This is a flashlight and a battery charger for my phone, so I am not only saving the battery on my phone, but I can also charge my phone with it. So we all know that your phone is part of your EDC, so that's definitely gonna make your EDC better. So the other item was multi-tools. Multi-tools are definitely beneficial for your EDC. You've got some maybe you like to go and eating. I obviously don't EDC this. I mean, at one time I did as a kid, this is one of my very first ones. I've got a clean one that I use in the Boy Scouts. This one's definitely gonna benefit you because it's got multiple tools. Um, my favorite obviously is the fork. Do you EDC a spoon? That's obviously a multi-tool. Um, you got the uh, you know the smaller ones. I like ones with pliers. You've got uh, the old fashioned. I call it the Leatherman style. You know, put that in the truck. You know, it's going to benefit you because you never know you're going to need it. Uh, you got a smaller one. This one I really do like a lot here. This is a smaller one. This is <laughs> just a cheapy keychain, but it's got a pair of fingernail clippers. How many times do you go out and need a fingernail clippers. I think carrying a fingernail clippers definitely benefits you in your EDC. So quick story behind the fingernail clippers is my oldest son asked me to turn around on the way to school because he needed to clip a fingernail that was hanging off a little bit and he didn't want to rip it off. Good for him because I would have bit that off as a kid and it would have hurt. I would have had sore hand for however long. You know, we all know how that goes. But we turned around and I got my fingernail clippers. But if I would have had this with me, man, that would have been incredibly beneficial for him and then you've got your swiss army knife style i think it's a great tool you got an extra blade in there you got your screwdriver kirk screw all tools that definitely are beneficial i personally though like a tool with a pliers i like these gerbers they're a little larger you know you can open them one-handed i personally think a multi-tool with pliers benefits me more personally because I utilize the pliers quite a bit on my day-to-day -day tasks. You know, whether I'm fishing and I need that pliers to get the hook out because I can't grab the actual tool for it, but this is on me. And one of my new favorite ones is the SOG Power Pint. I love how small that is. I love that it's got a pocket clip. I can put that in my pocket. I can put it in my pouch. I've got all the tools I need. I've got the bit driver if I need to use that. I've got an extra knife on me. It's small. You can put that in your fifth pocket. I think the SOG Power Pint is one of my most favorite EDC. Yeah, it's small. And if it's too small, well, you're probably doing a big project, like you're in the garage or something. Just go to the toolbox and just get the actual tool that's going to work for the job. Let's just be real. This is an EDC to make your everyday stuff better, not to replace anything that's in the toolbox. So, like I said, it's EDC making your everyday carry life easier. So for the comment that blew my mind, it made me think about how I carry, what I carry, and made me really think about some items that maybe I should start carrying. Great video and choices. I hate using the public restroom, so I carry potpourri. We all hate the public bathroom, so that's absolutely true. I couldn't find any potpourri around the outside search. We didn't have any. But it's what made me think about you know other items, like uh, maybe some clean wipes or dude wipes. Um, hand sanitizer, those type of items that made sense. But it made me think about carrying Axe Spray. Yeah, this is Axe Spray. Everybody's probably had some, and Axe is probably not the go-to anymore, but this was convenient, and I've had this for years and hardly ever use it, 
It's small, very pocketable, or pouchable. I'm gonna coin that phrase, pouchable. See, it's small, slim, easy to carry. All you gotta do is, it is actually called pocket spray. You know, I'm not gonna tell you you should spray this on yourself and it's gonna do the commercial saying, get all the ladies, you know what I'm saying? But this is gonna help you maybe spray it while you're in the bathroom, whatever. You know, you got that, we're not gonna go there. That's for another time. Let's talk about that story later. But anyways, very easy. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Throw it in the pouch, throw it in the pocket, whatever. That was a great comment. I appreciate everybody who did comment and kind of give me some of these ideas. I couldn't agree more with a lot of these comments, so I appreciate everybody that did comment. I want to thank you guys for coming down to the Barbarian Bar and hanging out with me and using these five tips to make your EDC better. If you guys like this, definitely appreciate it. If you would comment down below, we'll do a part three. We'll talk about the items that you guys carry, more items that I should carry or I should talk about you guys carrying. Everybody go out there, have a great rest of the week, and may your coffee be stronger than your toddler. No, the pooper. <laughs>Are you guys still here? Well, I appreciate it. If you are still here, I appreciate you. Hopefully you subscribe and like this and comment down below once again. Tell me what items you think would make part three of this video. Check out one of my other videos.